Dear learners, welcome to the new session on web technology, HTML Extensible Hypertext Markup Language. I am Anurag Bhatt, Assistant Director, Computer IT, Uttarakhand Open University, Haldwani. Today's learning objectives are, we will learn about what is HTML, what is XHTML, it is example, advantages of XHTML and uh, some of the advantages of HTML, then XHTML syntax, we will cover doc type declaration and case sensitivity of XHTML. These all are the learning objectives. So here to start with, what is XHTML? XHTML stands for Extensible Hypertext Markup Language. It is a cross between the HTML and XML languages. So it takes the advantages both of HTML and XML. XHTML is almost identical to HTML, but it is more strict than HTML while we considering the rules. XHTML is HTML defined as an XML application. It is supported by all major browsers. Here we have an example that is doc type declaration HTML public. Then we have provided some uh, address. Then encoding schemes HTTP www.w3.org uh, then TR XHTML then uh, doc type definitions and uh, XHTML strict.dtd, then we have HTML tag, then head, title, a simple document uh, that is title, then title is closed here, then uh, body, head is closed, then body, then we have paragraph, a simple paragraph and it uh, we have to keep it in our mind that it should be also closed, then uh, body, then HTML, tag is closed. Here. XHTML is almost identical to HTML, but XHTML is stricter in syntax and case than HTML. Case sensitivity we find in XHTML, so it's more important to write the code correctly. XHTML documents are well formed and passed using standard XML parsers, but HTML requires a mild HTML specific parser. So here is the basic difference that HTML requires a mild HTML specific parser and uh, while XHTML documents are well formed and parsed using standard XML parsers. Here we have HTML and XHTML. So the difference is uh, visible here. HTML is a hypertext markup language, programming language used to create web pages and XHTML is a hypertext and markup language uh, derived from HTML itself that is used to create websites and applications. So XHTML is more uh, applicable to the websites and applications. XHTML 1.0 became a recommendation of the World Wide Web Consortium W3C on January 26, 2000. XHTML 1.1 became the W3 consortium recommendation on May 31, 2001. A standard known as XHTML5 is being developed as an XML adaptation of the HTML5 specification. So Worldwide uh, Web Consortium recommended it on 26 January 2000. Then XML, XHTML 1.1 became uh, the recommendation of W3C on May 31, 2001. W3C Consortium XHTML, this is the logo. XHTML has, was developed to make HTML more extensible and more interoperable with other data formats. There are two main reasons why XHTML was developed. Doc type HTML, this coding we, have, we had discussed, then ST, uh, that this is double quotes, HTTPS, we had taken the example of techalmira.com. Then we have this DTD definitions, 
then html x means uh, https then tech elmera.com and here we have head so this is a basic x html example we have previously also discussed this title uh, we have x html document then title then head is closed then body body we have wrong as x html rule br for the break line that is br uh, tag uh, we this is the wrong x html rule because we have all tags including the empty ones should be closed in x html this is uh, we have to keep it in our mind that the tags including the all tags including the empty ones such as br and then uh, hr these all should be closed so the correct x html rule is like this which we have uh, displayed in the green text then the wrong text is uh, of the uh, red text x html example this is wrong xml uh, x html rule is that uh, we are not providing here the hr closing so correct x html rule will be uh, hr is close so uh, mm, uh, wrong x html rule is uh, that uh, img source image tag is there source uh, we have provided the full address then alt equals to then we have provided picture of a boy playing in the field and we had not closed it so it is a wrong x html rule and it is not be it will not be accepted now uh, we will discuss the correct x html rule that is we have image tag then source we have provided the address and then alt equals to uh, in double quotes we have picture of a boy playing in the field and then here we are closing this tag so closing of the tag is very very important in x html then body tag is closed and then html tag is closed mm -hmm. Here, the code gives the following output that correct x html rule, then correct x html rule. So, uh, the correct x html rule we have uh, discussed uh, previously. This is the x html family. Mm -hmm. So, this diagram depicts all the custom modules which we have in x html family. Specifications created using the mandatory core modules, then optional XHTML uh, modules, mm, then custom modules. So we have this uh, core, then custom, and uh, this W3, uh, W3C consortium, World Wide Web consortium, XHTML 1.1, XHTML basic, which we have uh, displayed in the diagram. So, uh, le dear learners, you can have a basic idea about XHTML family using this figure. This module contains the structure, then hypertext, text, uh, links, images, then basic tables, and so on. Now, we will discuss some advantages of XHTML. Extensible hypertext markup language makes web application code cleaner and more reusable so whenever we are having a condition so that this application code uh, we want some cleaner and more reusable code compatibility with various devices helps to develop to create more advanced uh, projects uh, uh, user can have more advanced web projects and also supports self-made markup like svg scalable vector graphics so we have discussed three major advantages of uh, xstml so far that it makes web application code cleaner more usable and also supports self-made markup like svg that is scalable vector graphics we will discuss some other advantages of xstml xstml code can be easily converted to PDF, RSS and RFT allowing developers to work with a wide variety of files. XSTML reduces the load time it takes for browsers to load events. These speed ups the overall development and saves time and energy reuse. So here it can be uh, XSTML code can be easily converted to PDF format, RSS format and RFT. 
So it is uh, having the wide variety of files which we can work. XHTML as it uh, reduces the load time, so it speeds up the overall development and saves the uh, energy and time. So this is the major advantage of XHTML. It leads to lightweight uh, applications. Now we are having some advantages of HTML. So far we have discussed uh, advantages of XHTML. Now we put light on some advantages of HTML. HTML helps you organize your website designs and has many advantages. It is easy to learn and use. It is supported by all programs, explicit and easy to change. Easy to coordinate with various dialects. So it is easily uh, coordinated with various dialects and explicitly and easy to change, supported by all programs, easy to learn and use. And the last but not the least is it is lightweight uh, language. So it makes our applications, our coding very, very lightweighted so that it takes less time in loading. HTML is a prerequisite for all programming languages. So now it is that much popular that it is a prerequisite for all programming languages. It is accepted widely so far. Content is compressible and ready for immediate download. So the content in HTML, it is compressible easily and it is ready for immediate download. Now we will discuss the XHTML syntax. So XHTML syntax is very similar to HTML syntax and all valid HTML elements are also valid in XHTML. However, XHTML is case sensitive. So creating XHTML documents and making them compatible with XHTML requires a little more care. Because XHTML is a very case sensitive language, so creating XHTML documents, we should take so much care while XHTML requires some case sensitivity. Now, when creating a new XHTML document or converting an existing HTML document to an XHTML document, you should keep in mind the following important points. So what are those points? All documents must have a doc type. All tags must be lowercase. All documents must be well designed. So whenever we create some XHTML documents or converting an existing HTML document to an XHTML document, these uh, steps we have to follow or these points we have to keep it in our mind. All documents must have a doc type. The, there should be a doc type for all the documents. Then the tag should be in lowercase as it is very care, uh, case sensitive language. So and all documents must be well designed. Here is the syntax. Uh, XML version 1.0 encoding is UTF-8. Then RSS version is 2.0 then channel, then channel is uh, closed here, then RSS is closed here. So this is the XHTML syntax. All tags must be closed. All attributes must be added correctly. Name attribute is changed. Attribute cannot be truncated. All tags must be properly nested. So here in this example, you can uh, have a look that all tags are closed here. All attributes are added correctly. Name attributes is changed. Then attribute cannot be truncated. Attributes cannot be truncated. And all tags must be properly nested. Here we can have example. And these lines 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. These are the line of codes. And we can have a fair view about the XHTML syntax while coding. This is doc type declaration. All XHTML documents must start with the doc type declaration. There are three types of doc type declarations which are detailed in the XHTML documents uh, doc type chapters, which will be covered later. Here is an example of using the doc type. 
So uh, the major uh, dog type declaration needs some points which we have discussed. This is the dog type declaration. Dog type HTML public, then W3C, then transition encoding, and then HTTP. Uh, we have taken the example of techalmira.com here. So you can take any example, then DTD, XHTML1, transition.dtd. Now we will discuss case sensitivity. XHTML is a case sensitive markup language. We have uh, witnessed some examples also. All XHTML tags and attribute must be lowercase only. Now here we have, this is an in, invalid XHTML. For example, this tag A is here and we have provided that href and then uh, address then HTML uh, example and then a tag is closed. So because it is not in a lower case, so it is uh, invalid in XHTML. So for making a tag uh, valid in XHTML, we have to make it in lower case only. This is the correct form, the correct HTML way of writing. This is as follows. Then a tag, it is in lower case, then href equals to xhtml, html example dot html, code is closed again, xhtml example, then a tag is closed here. So this is example, the example is incorrect because the href and anchor tag a are not lower case in the previous example. So we have make it made it correct. Uh, that is href is in the previous example, uh, href is uh, was in uh, caps capital letter. And in this corrected example that href and both href and a are in lowercase. Here there are some points to remember. XHTML stands for extensible hypertext markup language. XHTML is a stricter XML based version of HTML. XHTML is HTML defined as an XML application. XHTML is supported by all major browsers. The learning outcomes of this particular session are we have a basic understanding of XHTML. Learners have a deep uh, understanding about XHTML using some examples. We had discussed uh, advantages of XHTML and learners will surely be knowing the advantages of XHTML also. And we, uh, the, the learning outcomes are comprised of XHTML syntax, then basic understanding of doc type declaration and case sensitivity. The learners had witnessed the case sensitivity of XHTML. How can we make valid tags in XHTML? I hope that this session will be very beneficial for you and you had grasped deep understanding and concepts about XSTML. Thank you so much, dear learners.